meditations with Marcas Eulalia from the Global South, listening agricultura.cl agricultura.cl there you can listen a lot of fascism and like fascism like is typical of fascism this is a a, a whole uh, there's a lot of contradictions there's a lot of contradictions in fascism these people are always I mean not just agricultura radio but Bio Bio everybody in Chile uh, nowadays they are well one week ago they were they were they were crying and condemning all the radio all the radio they were taking political purposes of some dead child of three dead child from uh, I, I, I forgot uh, virus syncytial virus there were three kids who died and well the right wing in all the radios here they were condemning a uh, government because of three kids in the first of this coverage they someone tell that some specialist says that this is normal because kids uh, have been inside house with no contact with any virus because of coronavirus and this syncytial virus killed three because they they got no anticorps antidotes Woo, the tunnel That was in the beginning of the the crisis of three people, three kids. I I guess it's ironic because three kids in any city of Brazil, I guess that's normal. People died a lot because they are too much, isn't it? Or even China because there's a lot of people dying in China because there are a lot of people in China. Even though no one died in China. Go China. I'll say that it's funny here, but right here is the hospital. So all the time there are, uh, there are ill people here, like with a terrible face, <laughs> a terrible expression, suffering, you know? It's not funny, but for sure, I guarantee you that in this street, in this building, there will be always people kind of boring in the, at least they are boring or they are, understand? Well, and they do, they, they took, well, this is normal, um, they almost wanted the the minister of the health, the health minister, to go away to to be expulsed, just because three three kids who didn't have anticorps. Anyway, this is a, and well, there is a lot. I mean, a lot of contradictions, even among these courses. Well, let me let me try to remember some. There's a lot of contradiction and people don't care. I will try to remember something about agricultural radio, which somehow is the radio I, I'm listening because it's the worst of the of all. They they are the worst, but they try not to be. You know, there's a lot of contradiction. Well, one contra one ideological contradiction of agricultural radio right here in Chile is. Agricult agriculture is not a is not the industry sector of economy. So it's not the industry. So 
they have a, a fascist culture, a traditional culture, understand? They, well, they, their business is... I, I don't know what's the agricultural business right here. Uh, fruits, I guess, vegetables. So, I imagine they have a lot of uh, countryside traditions. I'm pretty sure that they supported Pinochet, so they, they're fascists, period. <laughs> and well, nevertheless, even though they are fascists, they have to, they have to have a, a progressive discourse. Um, they have to, to say good things about developed countries, <laughs> industrial developed countries like the most developed countries and well agriculture is not the is not important in those developed countries understand so this is a pretty contradicted radio well that's it well that's it i i'm trying to remember some some contradiction I've heard from the radios, but the, the truth is people don't care. I'm just the only crazy guy, a creepy guy with a with a scooter and a bag and a sky a sky suite look, a ski suite. A ski suit from the 60s, from the 70s, a retro style, a retro synth pop style, which for me is fine, but that's it. I'm the only one who listens critically anything right here in this country. And well, I'm astonished, kind of astonished because some of my opinions about education. They are pretty similar to these fascists, to those fascist ones, like I'm against strikes. But, well, there's a lot of strikes in Global South. Maybe strikes is normal, but in my case, the UPLA is too much, it's just too much. And it's too much, too big that, well, I'm Today I heard that, that the teachers will have a, uh, high school teachers will will have a national strikes next semester, which is two months from now or one month. What is it? I just I I just I only can think about my case in my college which we are, I don't know, 100 months in strike. I'm super worried about myself, you know? I, I'm super worried about what's gonna happen with me and this college. But the thing is, teachers do like, they do like, strikes and these strikes in my college this strike in my college is supposed to be uh, an invasion uh, not a criminal robbery invasion but uh, a student's invasion an occupation but I guess it's not true I guess teachers Teachers, uh, maybe the teachers support this, this, all this strike, all this laziness.